Hello, this is Breakfast with John Kay and Sally Nugent. Britain is to take in thousands more Syrian refugees. Hello there, good morning. It's Friday the 4th of September. Also on the programme this morning. Looks beautiful there. Carol has the weather for us. Good morning. First, our main story. And David Cameron is today expected to announce plans to increase the number of Syrian refugees coming to the UK. It's thought thousands of people who are currently in UN camps in countries bordering Syria will be allowed to settle in the UK rather than those who've already reached Europe. Nick Qureshi reports. Owen Brent, thank you very much indeed for now. A woman who was thought to be travelling to Syria with her four children has been arrested after returning to the UK. The French energy company EDF has admitted that the building of Britain's first nuclear power plant in decades has been delayed. The latest Badger colour started in Somerset and Gloucestershire and for the first time in Dorset. The plan is to kill 2,000 badgers in a bid to halt the spread of TB in cattle. But protesters say they're going to try to disrupt the cull, as our environment correspondent Claire Marshall reports. Around a million people in the UK with interest-only mortgages don't have a plan for how to pay the loan off when their term ends, according to new research by Citizens Advice. Yeah. Wait till he goes to the supermarket. Uh, <laughs> the time is 11 minutes past six. I'm nearly there. What are we, above England for the first time ever in yeah. the world rankings? Yeah. And now, yes, yeah, surely they're going to do it now, aren't they? Get to the first, uh, first major that. finals yeah, since, what, the it. 1950s. I know, it's been such a long time. But they've got to beat Israel at home on Sunday, which they should do because they beat them away for the World Cup, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Oh, mm. But they will be uh, technically the home team against Australia and Wales. When it Column. Well, he explains everything, does he? Why he goes through the experimental phase. Okay. We all go through them. Mike, thank you very much indeed. Uh, let's, I look forward to seeing that. Um, let's look at the front pages, then. There's one story that dominates every single one, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, the uh, deaths we were covering yesterday, of those two little boys, those two brown refugee status. Yeah, and front page of the Daily Mail. We may as well show you on every page, as John said, on every has the story of how he says how the wrath capsized and how they literally slipped out of his hands in the water. Uh, the papers that are that dealing with the, the policy implications of this and, and how that particular photo or series of photos might change things for the politicians. Uh, the Daily Telegraph um, are leading on a story we're going to mention. We'll look inside some of the papers later, but uh, Ben is here to have a look at the, the business pages. Hi, morning. How are morning you? Morning to both. Yeah, dominated by news yesterday from the European Central Bank. Huge. Wow. Uh, many shops over this time round, of course. When we were a little the younger, yeah. Still got your figures? I still have yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. Let's swap, uh, yeah. Uh, this time, <laughs> maybe not worth quite as much because they're the new ones, but nonetheless, a year. So uh, a pretty big I'd difference. say that's a conservative estimate. You're right. Yeah, I think that's so. what they say they spend. <laughs> Average figures, yeah. I think we should say. Are okay. you going to skew those figures somewhat? Yeah, perhaps yeah. slightly. <laughs> ben, thanks very much indeed. Uh, let's check in with uh, Carol in a moment, shall we? Uh, <laughs> let's go back to Lancashire, I think, if we need some sunshine after yeah. that sunrise we saw a moment ago, because uh, we're talking about country living this week on breakfast. And, of course, it can have its advantages. Fresh air, stunning scenery, wide open spaces, but often the simple life isn't necessarily so straightforward, is it? That's right. Well, this week on breakfast, we've been exploring some of the issues faced by those living in rural areas. Well, even getting your foot on the property ladder can present problems. And John Maguire is in the Lancashire... It's not the worst job you've ever had to do in the world, is it? Cake, bacon sandwiches and a covering and no rain. Bring you something back? Cake, of cake, cake. Victoria sponge for me. Bacon butty for me. Oh, OK, yeah. All right. John? Thank you. Yeah, bacon <laughs> butty would be lovely. Thank you very much indeed. John, thank you. All and he it... needs now, really, is some people to... to... Share it with him. Yeah, <laughs> so it's a bit empty. If you want to see some live behind-the-scenes footage from John and the team at Ray Green...
Hello, this is Breakfast with John Kay and Sally Nugent. The time very nearly half past six on Friday morning. We'll have the latest news and all the sport for you in just a moment. Well, that's still to come, but now let's get a summary of this morning's main news. David Cameron is expected to announce plans to increase the numbers of Syrians coming to the UK. Well, our political correspondent Robin Brandt is in Westminster. David Cameron seems to have responded at this stage to the pressure. Robin, thank you very much indeed. That's Robin Brandt for us in Westminster this morning. Some other news, and the French energy company EDF has admitted that the building of Britain's first new nuclear power station in decades has been delayed. The latest Badger Cull has started in Somerset and Gloucestershire and for the first time in Dorset. Around a million people in the UK with interest-only mortgages don't have a plan for how to pay the loan off when their term ends. That's according to new research by the Citizens Advice today. Teenagers who spend too long watching television or playing computer games could see their exam performance suffer, according to new research. So if you're 14, get prepared to be really badly nagged by your parents yes. after school this evening who've now seen that. Coming up on the programme, we'll get the weather from Carol for today and into the weekend. That's in about 10 minutes' time. Forecast for Wales, Mike, is... Very good. Unprecedented for a generation or two generations. If you think about all the Welsh players that have missed out over the years mm. on major finals, the likes of Ryan Giggs... Ian Rush, John Toshak, it's a long list, but well, actually it's more of a, a long jump pit rather than just a, a normal kid's sand pit. He's going to need a longer there. mantelpiece, though, <laughs> yeah. isn't he, for yeah. all these trophies? All those trophies. Children Olympics, isn't there? But no, not, not for him. him. In an era of smartphones, online shopping and social media, many of us would find it difficult being cut off from the online world. Yeah, but for those people living in some parts of rural Britain, access to the internet is still a struggle. We're going to be hearing a bit later that a new study today is revealing that uh, the digital gap, as they call it, is actually widening. It's getting worse, isn't it? Now, lots of you have been sending in your pictures of life in rural Britain. Let's have a look at some of them. Now, even though I did hear you say a touch of frost, which is a little bit scary at this time of year already. <laughs> <gasps> I know. Carol, thank you very much indeed. We'll talk to you again very soon. Now, from household chores to drawing maps, robotics are playing a growing role in our lives. But how advanced could they possibly become? You may not be allowed back in this studio. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. If you enjoyed all of that, there is a special week coming up on BBC News looking at artificial intelligence. That's starting Monday, the 14th of September. Now, around a million people in the UK with interest-only mortgages don't have a plan for how to pay it off when their term ends. That's the warning from Citizens Advice this morning. And Ben is here. Thanks, Ben. We'll see you then. And we will be back in just a few minutes' time. Now it's time to get the news, travel and weather where you are this morning. Hello, this is Breakfast with John Kay and Sally Nugent. Britain is to take in thousands more Syrian refugees. Hello, good morning. It's Friday the 4th of September. Also on the programme this morning. I know someone who'd be very good at that. Here's Carol with the weather. <laughs> Good morning. First, our main story. And David Cameron is today expected to announce plans to increase the number of Syrian refugees coming to the UK. It's thought thousands of people who are currently in UN camps in countries bordering Syria will be allowed to settle here rather than those who have already reached Europe. Nick Qureshi reports. David Cameron is meeting his Spanish and Portuguese counterparts today. Our Europe correspondent Tom Burridge is in Madrid. Tom, he's not there to talk about the migrant crisis, but he's certainly going to have to, isn't he? Ben, thank you for that update. Ben Brown there in Budapest. Well, a woman who was thought to be travelling to Syria with her four children has been arrested after returning to the UK. The French energy company EDF has admitted that the building of Britain's first new nuclear power plant in decades has been delayed. The latest Badger Cull has started in Somerset and Gloucestershire and for the first time in Dorset. The plan is to kill 2,000 badgers in a bid to halt the spread of TB in cattle. But protesters say they're going to try to disrupt the cull, as our environment correspondent Claire Marshall reports. Around a million people in the UK with interest-only mortgages don't have a plan for how to pay the loan off when their term ends. That's according to new research today by Citizens Advice. Here's something we have suspected all along. Teenagers who spend too long watching television or playing computer games could see their exam performance suffer, according to new research. You've been warned. If you've got homework tonight, you're going to be told to uh, hurry up and stick to it. Uh, meanwhile, in Rome, holidaymakers uh, got a bit of a surprise when they were out snapping pictures of uh, the sites. All those pictures. Yeah, too. perhaps he didn't decide to go for the big gold sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dame Edna star. I don't think that would really suit the Pope. Uh, it's ten past seven. 
Now, we've been hearing this morning about the poor internet connections many rural villages have and how it can leave them feeling cut off and disadvantaged. And a new report out today by the University of Aberdeen and the Oxford Internet Survey suggests that the digital gap, as we call it, between the town and the country is actually widening. Okay, Ed Vosey, thank you for joining us from London. It is 16 minutes past seven. Let's go to Carol now, who has this morning's weather. Now, while some might dream of a house in the country, getting on the property ladder in rural Britain can be unrealistic. Not only is there a shortage of homes, but the average price is higher too. Yes, the final day of our series this week, exploring issues about life in the countryside. And breakfast, John Maguire is today back in the Lancashire village of Ray Green. John, it looks beautiful there. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, it looks beautiful in lots of places, doesn't it? All this week we've been asking you to send... Uh your pictures of your life in rural Britain. Lots of you have already sent in photos. Many neighbours to worry about where she is. No, it looks a little bit cloudy as well. Yeah, exactly. We're going to put them all together into a special montage, which we'll show you later. But uh, time now to get the news, the travel and the weather where you are. Hello, this is Breakfast with John Kay and Sally Nugent. The time this Friday morning is 7.30. Good morning. Let's have a look at our headlines. And David Cameron is expected to announce plans today to increase the number of Syrians coming to the UK.